So there's Lando, all tired out. After a day of me scuba diving, he got to go visit dozens of people multiple times. But this video is not about scuba diving. It is about Verizon and the typical horrible service that they provide. I've been with Verizon, I think going on close to 20 years, and they used to be really great and I'm talking like 15, 20 to 15 years ago. They were great. Now they're so big, they're just making noodles of cash. Now I'm an avid RVer. As you can see, I'm in the RV right now. And let me tell you what RVers like. We, we like to stay connected to the internet. And so we go through all these problems. Like, we'll buy a Verizon jetpack. This is actually the second jetpack that I've bought from Verizon. And, uh... I love the concept. These are great. There are some tricks with these jetpacks that are wonderful. If you're out RVing and you get barely an RV signal, carry along a little pocket fisherman with you, hook a weight to it, cast it up as high into a tree as you can, let the weight fall back down, tape that with some electrical tape, duct tape to your little jetpack device that only weighs a few ounces, and hoist it up into the tree because it sends a Wi-Fi signal down to your RV into your devices and you've just raised it up let's say 30 or 40 feet um, and you will find you'll get much better reception much better services I've gotten services in places where I got no bars um, and you know when you're in the mountains it's hit and miss a lot I also hook it to my antenna if the weather's going to be good hook it to the antenna on the RV and crank it up but let me tell you about Verizon service and what they did. So I had a cell phone plan and I paid, I don't know, 80, 90 bucks a month. I owned my own phone, it wasn't a contract. And unlimited data is what Verizon says. And I'm like, hip, hip, hooray, I have an iPhone. I want unlimited data. And they gave it to me, no problem. Well, first thing they disclaim with unlimited data is if you're in a congested area, they'll throttle down your data. Understandable. If other people need service, I understand it. But then I go on my iPhone, which has special little features. And for those of you who don't know, your carrier controls what you see on your iPhone. So what they did is they took away my hotspot feature. You can use your iPhone as a hotspot to connect to other mobile devices like a, you know, a laptop computer or somebody else's phone if they need internet. You give them your password, boom, they get internet. As soon as my iPhone was activated for unlimited data, they took away my ability for my iPhone, that phone I'm talking into right now, to be a mobile hotspot, which rendered it useless for me getting data on my laptops and stuff. I'm a teacher and I like to travel, so it's nice to be able to get on the internet and complete things. So then, I call them up, not pissed off, but I knew, Verizon, there's always something, man. Verizon's like dealing with a mob or something. Well, we'll give you this, but there's a price to pay. Okay, there's a price to pay. So I call them up and I'm like, what the heck, man? Actually, I'm, I'm on YouTube first, and somebody says, another RVer says, hey, buy the jetpack, unlimited data. So I call them up, I go, what the heck? They're like, yeah, you get a jetpack, unlimited data, if you prepay and you uh, auto pay, we'll take 20 bucks off a month, so it's like 80 or 90 bucks a month, I don't remember. And you get a jetpack, which you can hook 10 devices to, in my account, I can hook 10 devices to. I don't know how many devices I can actually hook to this jetpack. But I only need a few devices hooked to this jetpack. And it gives you Wi-Fi everywhere you get a cell signal. So, yesterday, I'm in Santa Rosa, New Mexico. Fire up the devices. And, uh, lo and behold, I'm getting 14 megabits per second download rate, which is high-quality DVD streaming. Per pow, fifth, you know, it, it varied between 13 and 18 megs, but let's say 15 megs. Worked great. Man, I was watching videos. I was so happy. Everything was high quality, high definition, blah, blah, blah. Moved my RV just a mile over to a place where I spend the night, and my data rate was 0.18 megabits per second. So that's like 
if I was getting 13 megs, let's say 13 on the low end, that's like a 14 or 15 hundred percent, 15 times slower than what I was getting. Same tower, man. I'd moved a mile away and where I'm at, it's kind of a high spot and, and I, like literally as a crow flies, it's a mile towards the city, closer to the city. And uh, so I start up the device and nothing will load. Call up Verizon today. Hey, what's up? They give me the thing. Oh, we throttle it down if other people are using their phones. Okay, I'm in Santa Rosa, New Mexico. The population of Santa Rosa, New Mexico is 2,700 people. And it's a few miles long. So they're spread out, let's say, amongst two videos. Or two videos, two, sorry. Amongst two antennas. So... I was literally chatting with Verizon. I chatted with him yesterday. She said it was just a temporary thing. I was like, okay, might be peak time today. So yesterday it was 0.89%. Today I log on, 0.18%. Okay? So, you know, 0.18 goes into one megabyte, megabit, five times, times 13. You do the math. It's 150, you know, times slower, you know, and so chatted with them again on their chat, their online chat, literally for an hour, did nothing. The guy's like, oh, turn off your device, turn it back on, turn it off, take the SIM card out and then put it all back together and turn it back on. What's that going to do? I don't know if you're a tech geek or not, but that's a waste of your time. I could understand resetting a device. You could get a ping off of it, whatever. But, I mean, literally just to log ch log on, chat, and talk with these people, I had to use my phone number and my special password, which I forgot and had to go through the whole rigmarole of resetting my password. Then I log in, and then he's like, oh, what's your special pin for your account? So I give him that. Oh, where are you located? What's your zip code where you're located? I had to give him that. It's like these devices, everything in the world has its own unique IP address. Everything. Every microchip in the world has its own serial number or IP address. Your device has its own IP address. So it's just another scam by Verizon. If you're getting this just to stay connected to the internet at slow speeds, at unlimited data, if I give you, if I promise you unlimited gold, but I give you an ounce throughout a hundred year period in daily increments, you know, so I give you 365,000 ounces of gold or 365 parts of one ounces of gold per day. And I tell you it's unlimited and keep it going. You're still never going to get more than an ounce of gold if you live to be 100. So it's just a way for Verizon to mess you over and get your money to sell as many of these things as possible before they switch to their 5G network which is a whole other kit and caboodle I don't even want to get into but it ain't good I'm not a conspiracy theorist I do my math I do my homework so if you're looking at getting one of these just to stay connected to the internet and be able to check your emails great great reliability, great service um, but if you want to be able to look at videos at your convenience, surf the YouTubes, it ain't gonna happen. Sorry the video was so long. I got diving to do, man. Get off the YouTube. Bye.